Hi everybody, welcome to the first episode of Figureheads. I am your host, Radical Ryan Hunter, and this is Figureheads here on Super Clash Video. Figureheads is where we're going to dive deep into one particular character from an action figure line, along with what other products may have come out featuring the character. And we're also going to learn a little more about the Tick toy line as well. The Tick 90s animated series, which ran three seasons from 1994 to 1996, had an awesome but sadly short-lived toy line that went along with it. In its height, the Tick had some fantastic merchandising, action figures, t-shirts, hats, and even a video game. In addition, fast food restaurant chains like Taco Bell offer Tick-related toys in kids' meals. But let's talk about today's figurehead, LC. So when I was planning to do this video a few weeks ago, I could not find my childhood LC which is now pictured here. Thinking LC might be gone forever, I went to eBay and sure enough, I was able to find an inexpensive replacement. The character, while appearing in only three episodes of the animated series, made such an impact on me as a kid. In the season one episode, The Tick vs. El Seed, El Seed made his first appearance. Those accursed super monkeys have tossed themselves into my salad once again. <sighs> Scratch plan A. We switch to plan B. That's you, women. Go find me, Ikebana, and bring me the 400 year bloom! <laughs> Seen seeking liberation for his fellow plants. He followed with two more appearances, Season 2's Bloomsday and Season 3's Tick vs. Dot and Neil's Wedding. The character has the power of plant manipulation, meaning he can control the plants he brings to life as he is also a brilliant chemist inventing chemicals to control plants. I loved the wacky humor of this cartoon, and El Seed, along with his faithful henchwomen, the B-Twins, had me tickled pink. There's no time. I have to return the airplane to the rental place by tomorrow morning. I heard they start charging by the hour. You can fly at dawn. Besides, the revolution has already begun. Back to his first appearance, he was using an invention called the Plant Vitalizer, a chemical of his own invention which caused any plant it came into contact with to gain consciousness. He also had a crop duster which he rented to animate a cornfield by his greenhouse. By the end of the episode, the Tick and Arthur have infiltrated his base and used the crop duster and the antidote he created to stop El Seed's plants. I remember hoping that they would would make an L Seed figure one day. And when they actually did, he turned out not to be so easy to find. Well, for me anyway as a kid. Caldors, KB Toys. I think I finally found it at a Toys R Us, but I remember it being a big deal the day that he finally turned up. Until I actually got the full figure, Bandai also made a series of 11 Tiny Tick collectible figures, which I quickly got, and especially L Seed. The main action figure line by Bandai was awesome. They made some great action figures with amazing features. The LC toy had a grasping action. There was chopping, extending, color changing, and even mucusy action? A 16-inch talking tick figure was also part of this toy line. From what I could find researching, there seemed to be 16 regular figures released and four tick talkers, which were four tick figures that were able to say phrases, along with a playset called The Steel Box. Also at the same time was a series of five bendable figures. There was one box set that didn't feature El Seed, but he did get a release as a standalone seen here, and even more tiny figures with wacky wind-ups that had a crop-dusting El Seed included. As I mentioned briefly earlier, there was a video game released. It was a side-scrolling brawler based on the animated series published by Fox Interactive. The game was released for 
for Genesis and Super Nintendo in 1994. And while I did rent this as a kid, I don't remember there being any LC'd references. But they can't keep the tick down for long. Years passed, and later on there was another short-lived toy line for a live-action series. Matter of fact, there was two attempts to bring this series into live action. One in 2001 that lasted nine episodes on Fox, and one that recently aired on Amazon Prime from 2016 to 2019, starting with season one of 12 episodes, followed by season two with an additional 10, which was followed by cancellation. N2 Toys also produced a line of action figures based on the first live-action series, but both Tick shows ultimately failed to recapture the success of its animated predecessors. There was no more El Cid's figures to be made, sadly, but I would love a return to this character in some way, especially during our nostalgic 90s wave we've been riding lately. Thank you for joining us on our first episode of Figurehead. And if you did like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. It truly helps get the word out. Stay tuned, everybody. We have some exciting new videos planned for the weeks ahead, featuring Jeff from GCAP Recap and David from Slash Vision TV. We've only just begun. Thank you so much for tuning in. And join us next time as we dive deep into another figure here on Figurehead's with yours truly, Radical Ryan Hunter.